Okay, let's do another UV video. Um, somebody said in the comments that do something simple, like a box. Or a crate or something. So, okay. No problem. So we got a box here, a regular old box. And I double clicked it, hit the M key, and give it a material. I called it box, left the color white. Okay. So let's go to our UV tab. As you can see in our move our tools over here, we got our UV tab pulled up here. And I'm gonna go to my shader tree so I can see my materials. So now we have this box, as you can see, it is over here in our upper right, and we want to keep our UVs in the upper right. If I want to, I can delete this and create a new box, and you see there it is. Okay. So we have this box. Let's double click it, and you can see all the edges are selected. Now from our UV tab, let's select the unwrap tool. About about a hundred iterations, twenty percent um, relative gap size, and I'm going to click. And as you can see, that unwrapped my UVs, and it almost filled up my um, top corner here, but not quite. If you look, you can see it's not completely filled in there. So I'm going to hit the space bar and drop that tool. If you want to use the UV relax, you can do that too. It just depends on what UV, what types of UVs you're doing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Fit UVs. You can see that it's not quite all the way out to the edge. I'm going to say Fit UVs. Say OK. And you can see there that took that all the way out around to the edge there. OK. So now i got my presets pulled up here. And I've got an image here of Luxology. OK. So I'm going to go to my shader tree. And under the material that I give this, I'm going to drag the image I want to use right on top of that material. Click it. And now, as you can see, that throws that on there. Now it's backwards. So what we need to do is flip the UVs. Click to deselect, and there we go. We have our UVs on there. So let's go to our render view here. And let's scroll around here. Let's get this out of the way. Now you can see we have our logo on our box. Um, let's just go ahead and delete the sides. So we just have a plane there. Like that. Now if you want to get creative, you can. Let's see what we got here in our shader tree. Let's turn down our material. Now you'll see we have our image. Let's right click and duplicate this. And let's right click on diffuse color and change it to displacement. Now as you can see that kind of displaces our logo there. Let's go ahead, select our render controls and let's turn on global illumination. Let's go to our environment. Let's just real quick use physically based daylight. And there we quickly laid out some UVs on a box. Really, really simple. I'm going to delete that second one we made for the displacement. I mean, you can even go as far as, far as duplicating it again and making it a bump, a bump map, or you can it just you can get in here and experiment with it. It's completely up to you. Um, but that is how you lay out your basic UVs there. Now let's get rid of this. Let's go back to our model view. Let's bring up our tools. Bring up my shader tree. Now let's go ahead and delete this material. Okay, let's go back to items. Let's delete that box. And let's bring in a completely new one. Now let me show you, let's get a new um, mesh first. Now let me show you what happens if I select my polygons. Uh, let's open up presets. And I drag and drop 
that image, that Luxology image, straight onto my cube, you can see what happens if we don't UV it. Over here, our UVs are not laid out very well, and they're all over the cube. So you need to do the process that I showed you to get your UVs to fit. Um, but I just wanted to show you the basic UV in a cube. So um, thanks for watching.